An Indianapolis veteran will travel to Europe this week to accept an honor for what he did in World War II. Yeah, Andy Anderson was one of the soldiers who helped rescue prisoners at a notorious Nazi concentration camp. Our Nightview reporter, Jenny Ranovich, says he will represent his unit on the 70th anniversary of that Liberation Day. Jenny? Andrea and John, this invitation actually came last summer when Anderson toured World War II sites with the chairman of Indy Honor Flight. He visited the concentration camp he helped liberate, and the camp's curator asked him to come back and meet survivors as a guest of honor. I had five battle stars. While serving in World War II. That's my dog tag. Hoosier hero Andy Anderson yeah, saw it all as an army medic, from Normandy to the Battle of the Bulge. These are medals I won. But April 1945 brought a horror worse than any battlefield. If you saw the devastation in Buchenwald, God. Buchenwald was the first concentration camp discovered by Allied forces. Anderson and his fellow soldiers could hardly believe what they'd found. I took that picture. Piles of bodies, ovens, and Jewish prisoners clinging to life. You could see, almost see their bones. See, they got the prisoner uniforms on. In your lifetime, I hope you would never, never have to see something like that. Anderson's unit helped to liberate the camp, care for the wounded, and fly them out to freedom. They were so glad to see us, it wasn't even funny. Decades later, Anderson went back to Buchenwald, this time as a tourist. I went down to the basement cremation, and all of a sudden, it's like a, I never left there. And that's where this humble Hoosier was asked to be a hero again. The curator of the camp invited him to come back and help commemorate the 70th anniversary of Buchenwald's liberation. Next week, Anderson will represent American soldiers, and he'll meet survivors he saved. And it will be good for him to see that they're, they're there, they're grateful, they lived. Hundreds, hundreds of people lived thanks to you know, Andy and the, the unit. This honor isn't an easy role for Anderson to fill. I think they're just going out of their way. I'm just, I'm just one of many that did this, you know. He doesn't brag. He doesn't boast. He refuses to be called a hero. That was a job. That was my job. A young army medic who gave thousands a chance to live again. Some, yeah. Some of these he is a very humble hero. Andy and Grant will fly out tomorrow. They will spend five days in Germany, including the anniversary of Buchenwald's liberation this Saturday. Jenny Runovich, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.